Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're gonna strengthen up this K24 with some goodies. Alrighty, so for those of you who joined in last time, uh, we picked up a bargain on this K24. Now, I wanted to, you know, play with some boost with this one. Uh, K24s are strong, like, I don't know, you get, this is a 200 horsepower engine, but you get 400 horsepower uh, with boost without doing much. However, the weak points are rods and the valve train, so I figure we might as well open this up. I've got some max peaking rods, uh, rods here. Got some ARP head studs, and I've got a, a 92 pound um, Supertech valve springs and retainers. So we'll go ahead and we'll put that in. Put all the bolts in bags so I know where things are and label them. So I've had the timing cover off before, so I just left two bolts holding it on. And this one is very tight. I don't know, 80 foot pounds or something, I think. Um, and the goal is to stop it moving. Alrighty, so what I've made is a little piece of wire like this to go in the timing chain uh, tensioner. Um, and actually what you do is you just turn it back a bit till they line up, um, and then it should hold it. You can see I've got the tension there. Be a bit careful now with this in there, but now that the wire's in there, it should be okay. need a long socket for these, I've got myself a long socket now, which makes it easy. They kind of sound like a bottle of drink opening or something. I think we've got pressure in them. So between the rockers that control the high cam and the low cam, there's little pins. Uh, I've just installed these uh, cable ties on the rockers to stop them coming apart. Uh, you still have to be a bit careful, but this seems like a good method. So you can see here, I've started to pull out the valves, but first, before I pulled it out, I'm actually giving it a bit of a clean. Um, and what I'm just using is some uh, carby cleaner, uh, throttle body or carby cleaner, and just letting it pull in there, um, and using a bit of a old toothbrush and giving it a bit of a scrub, um, and just get off the, some of the excess carbon before we start pulling the valves out. So that's what it looks like. Um, I might even go another another quick flush through, um, but they're looking loads better. Um, there's some crud on the exhaust valves, um, which we'll get off, but other than that, it's starting to look good. So this is my first time removing valve keepers, and I was told a 10 millimeter uh, socket on the end of a extension and you just give it a couple of taps and they'll pop out. A bit skeptical of this at first but it seems to be working quite well. I'm also installing each of the valves and the springs in this piece of cardboard um, to keep them in the correct order. Uh, I think you're meant to keep them in the order that they came out when you put them back in if you're reusing the valves so I'm doing this. This seems the easiest way to keep them organized. To remove some of the crud off the valves, um, I found out that you can just put them in a drill like this. Um, I used two, dr two drills, uh, one with a wire wheel on it that I sit in the vise like this, 
and then you can just grab the second drill uh, and use it on it and they come up uh, like this takes away all of the excess carbon or most of it there's some that sticks in the middle of it that's hard to get rid of um, but it does get rid of most of it so it's pretty good bloody GoPro has died again so I'll talk you through this um, basically first of cleaning up the pistons here um, making it like the one I just showed um, they were covered in kind of this carbon buildup which I think is pretty normal just used some throttle body and carby cleaner and just sprayed it on there and basically let it sit and uh, wiped off. Removed the pistons uh, and what I'm doing is I'm leaving the crank in there, I'm just replacing the rods and the pistons. So basically remove them and then down the bottom of the cylinder I was honing out, I put a rag to stop any you know metal bits of whatever going through there down to the main bearing, I guess. Uh, and then I just gave them all a quick hone. I uh, didn't go too crazy, just enough to roughen up the bore and get it ready to bed the new pistons in. Oh, sorry, new piston rings in. Uh, just lightly use some engine oil before doing that. These are the rods that I got from Max Beating Rods. Uh, I'd heard some good uh, reviews on these and the nice bit about these rods is they do fit the stock K24 wrist pins meaning that you can use the stock pistons quite easily so once you've got them aligned the correct way uh, basically they just slot into the these factory uh, pistons you just uh, use the factory um, uh, piston pins uh, and you can slide them through. So it's pretty easy. I did weigh all of the pistons um, and they were all exact, sorry, the piston wrong combinations with the rings on and they're all within a gram. So that was good too. Uh, here, uh, I'm just getting the uh, main bearings ready uh, to go in use some assembly lube on those um, and made sure they were the correct way. For putting in the pistons, I use this cheap um, kind of ratchet style one. You need to be a little bit careful with these. They're not the, uh, the best way of doing it, but um, it does work. So basically you just put the piston with the rings on, uh, orientated the correct way, and then you just tap uh, the top of the piston down with something uh, soft, you know, a piece of wood or the end of the hammer like I'm doing here. And as you can see, I'm not using much force at all. You don't need much force. You just tap it in. If you hit something that feels like it stopped, stop and check it out. Probably pull that piston out and redo it again. But as you can see here, we've got all the bottom end ready to go. Uh, so that'll probably do it for this video. If you did like it, please give it a like and a subscribe. And in the next episode, we'll be doing the top end. Oh, oh, oh.